Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a weekly message from Jesus. Each week, I channel these messages for you. I hope you tell your friends about them, and I hope you try to follow his words. So I know you're not here to listen to me, so our Father is. Let us begin. Hello, everyone. Barry is right. Each week, we do bring you these messages. There are some of you out there that pay attention and listen and try to follow my words. And I'm so happy for you. Many of you do actually try to speak to others and you're understanding the frustration. Let me tell you a little bit about when I walked the earth. Now, when I returned, I brought a lot of souls with me. I had a lot of servants. You see, I can do many, many things that others can't do. There were many souls that served me through the years, and I knew that I could trust them to carry out certain missions. I knew that I was returning at a very, very difficult time. But I also knew that if I didn't return, people would not begin to worship a one God. My life plan was extremely well laid out. I brought back souls that would help. For instance, I asked the soul of Peter to return, John, James, all of my disciples. I had many more souls that you never heard of that came back to assist. I knew that I had people that would support me and would help spread my words. My life plan was very difficult. I lived a normal life for many years. And then in only three years of my ministries, I spoke words that affected billions of people. I could not have done that without people to support me. You see, I knew that I had to be crucified so that I could resurrect. I knew that I had to have people that would follow after and spread my words. I had many advantages that you don't have. Much of what you do depends upon your free will, depends upon your determination, determines, it's determined by what you really expect from this life and expect from the life in the hereafter. Each week I tell you that life in the hereafter is really what's most important. All that you do here is in preparation for how your soul is judged when it returns to my heaven. You see, when I came back, the Romans, they were very, very violent. They had their own way of doing things and they had many gods that they thought existed. They thought there was a God of war, a God of water, God of food, God of everything. Well, there is. It's me. But they didn't realize it. You see, I am the one God. And I am the one that arranged for all of you to be here. But anyway, when I returned, the earth was very, very different. As I say, the Romans controlled everything. No one had ever spoken. Oh, now they're I'm jumping ahead of myself here. Many in the Jewish religion had spoken of and tried to believe in a one God. But the majority of the people in the Middle East had not. I spoke words that were never spoken before. And when I did, I was thought of as crazy. 
I was ignored. People spit on me. They swore at me. They said that I was wrong, that I did not know what I was talking about, that if people followed my words, they would all die. Can you imagine what it was like to start from zero? Now, you see all of you when you're trying to speak to your friends. There's 2,200 years of experience there for you to base your words upon. Now, many of the words that I spoke don't exist. Nobody ever took notes. I mean, come on. Here is this guy walking around in sandals, speaking words that nobody ever heard before. People didn't write them down. They were too busy being nasty. <laughs> oh, I can remember much of what happened to me. It is much easier now for you to go out and spread my words. You know specifically what the words are. You know specifically what I want you to do. And you know what will happen if you don't. All civilizations have failed for 2,200 years. Civilizations have come and gone. There's no reason why this civilization or this period of evolution cannot fail as the others have failed. Now, as I mentioned quite often, if, if this generation of humans fail, it'll probably be quite spectacular because you have weapons of mass destruction. You have people that can push a button and end life as you know it on this earth. Pretty sad. In my time, there were no buttons like that. But the Romans could pretty much do what they wanted. They expanded, they conquered, they fought many, many wars. They were violent people. Their armies were very efficient. But you see, I had people I could trust. I had people that I knew would do what I asked them to do. I ask all of my disciples and followers to help spread my words. I essentially told all of them that there would be a time I wouldn't be with them, but I told them there'd be a time that they would join me in heaven. And then that would be what was important. You see, when I was crucified, they all thought I was gone because nobody understood when I told them that I would have that I would return to them. It was absolutely impossible for any of my followers to understand the concept of reincarnation and that I would return I would be resurrected. Resurrection was the greatest miracle that ever took place on this earth, and only I could do it. You see, my followers, they might have thought a bit about coming back and maybe having another life. I hinted at them that reincarnation existed, but it was just a hint. They didn't really know. They thought that I would return in physical form as I had been with them for the prior years. I returned in spiritual form. I returned in a form that they could see and touch. I could change from spirit to form and back to spirit. There was no way they could have comprehended the miracle that I was going to do. You can all understand the miracle. I speak of it. Words are written of it. But let me get back to the difficulties that I faced walking the earth. People did not believe what I spoke. They thought I was crazy, as I said. 
But there was one little gimmick there. I could perform miracles. You see, I knew that I had to do something very, very special if I was going to convince people. I could heal. I could raise bodies from the dead. I could do many, many things. I could feed Benny from nothing. I could make wine from water. Yes, those stories are all true. They've been exaggerated through the years, but I did all that. I did it so people would understand that I was special. Even though they knew that I was special, many feared me. Many thought that I would take over as king, and because of that, they wanted me killed. But that was all part of the plan. I know you will have trouble understanding this, but one of my most trusted souls was Judas. I needed somebody I could trust to be the greatest martyr of all time. Think about that. I needed someone to make sure that the Romans knew who I was because they had to crucify me. I knew I had followers that would jump in and say that they were me. But they could never be me. Just the same as you can never be me. But you can do what I ask of you. You can know my love. You can know all of the things of which I speak. You can know an incredible life when you return home. Many of you have difficult life plans. I know I hear you pray to me for help. I do the best I can, but I cannot interfere with those life plans. You have to understand that. If I interfere with that life plan, you just have to come back and learn that lesson in another life. Don't do that. Just do the best you can with your life plan. Follow it. Pray to me for guidance. Now, I can give guidance any any time you want it. If you don't pray to me, I can't. I have trouble giving guidance. You see, I have to know what's on your mind. You may pray to all of my holy saints, my angels. You have all these choices, and all of them will give you guidance and protection. But if you don't ask, you will not receive. Let me do something a little different this morning. Let me give you a prayer that you can use to speak to me. I want you to have conversation with me, but many of you do need guidance. So let me give you an idea of how I want you to pray to me. Join me in this prayer. Father, please hear my words. Know that I wish your guidance. Know that I need your help. I know that my body is weak, and I know at times that my will is as weak as my body. Please help give me the strength to follow your wishes and give me the strength to follow your words. Be with me in this life. Let me do what is best to make you proud of me. I know that I am but a simple person, but my wishes are great. I wish to serve you in all ways. So please guide me. Have your angels assist. Have your saints assist. But show me the way and the path upon which you wish me to walk. Amen. Thank you, Father. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.